you know, when you think about what makes a great salesperson, when I was growing up, my father was in sales and he would always say, well, you know, Karen, you have the gift of the gap. And I remember thinking, well, okay, I guess maybe that makes a good salesperson. And even when I talk to people now, they say, well, you know, I'm in sales and I've got the gift of the gap. And the longer I've been in sales, I think, you know, the gift of the, ba- the gap is actually <laughs> not a good salesperson. What I would say is the gift of active listening is a good salesperson because when we're gabbing, we're talking about ourselves. And when we're listening, we're making it about other people. And so to really break through the noise, allow our audience to feel heard, to feel validated, to center them out that this message has been crafted and designed for them because we truly understand the problem. We know the impact because A, we've done the job or B, we've helped others like them. And there's that humanized connection that you get that is based off emotion. And when you think about, you know, the neuroscience of the brain, the part of the brain that's activated is the limbic, the reptilian brain. It is no concept for language. And so it's about how you make someone feel. And so when you can really be others focused, you're going to ignite that, you're going to activate it, and you're going to create an experience that's very different. And you're going to have them leaning in, scratching their head, thinking, wow, this, this person, um, unlike anyone else and you create an impact and you become memorable.